and we are back hello everyone welcome back to five minutes code channel where i will be explaining the solution of every problem of lead code and geeks for geeks within less than five minutes okay so today's problem of the day is sum of bit differences which is a medium level problem and i also think yeah it's a medium level problem okay so all right let's find out what we will be given into this problem and what we have to do so the we will be given two things two params will be there first one will be an integer type array and second will be n which will be denoting the length of that array okay and uh, this arr array can have any number any positive number between from one to 10 raised to the power 5 okay all right we are going till this point now what we have to do we have to return the sum of bit differences so we have to form pairs so first of all we have to find the pairs and uh, then we have to find the differences on the bits of those okay all right i, I think i got it that you it might be a bit confusing for you so let's jump onto the notes section where i will clearly explain this problem and how are we going to approach that okay all right let's jump onto the notes section then Okay, all right. So first of all, what will be the pairs? Uh, suppose we are given array of length two, one comma two. So the number of pairs can be four. Now you'll be thinking how four? So yeah, it's a bit tricky. So we can pair one number with itself as well as given in the question. So one comma one will be one pair. One comma two will be another pair. Two comma will be another pair, and two comma two will be another pair. Okay. So this is the first thing. Now the brute force approach for is this: we will be we will keep on uh, running to loop two times. We will iterate the array two times, and for each pair we will be let's say comparing the different bits and uh, adding the sum and returning the answer but that will result in big of n square time complexity which is uh, not useful which is not suitable because the array length is 10 raised to the power 5 okay so how to overcome that look we know that in integer there can be 30 one seven bits okay so the length of integer can be at max 31 okay uh, if you will see the say the count of digits all right so how can we counter this so we will run a loop from 0 to 31 and and for each bit let's suppose at each let's suppose uh, in the zero bit in the zero bit there are two numbers which have one okay one and three numbers which have zero so what can be the number of pairs so two numbers with one and three numbers with the zero so can we say the difference will be two into three two into three how let's see so first one will be one one two pairs with the one so in this way there can be four ones okay and three zeros and if you will count the differences of each bit you will find that it is two into three it is two into three okay so this is the first thing and uh, now we have to okay let's suppose this uh, take another example you can take any example you will find out that this approach will work uh, similarly let's suppose there is only two numbers with uh, which have one set bit and one number which have zero set bit okay so how many number of pairs it can form look uh, the number of pairs it can form is first one with one okay here the uh, will be zero set bit difference will be zero then another one with one okay all right then first one with zero then another one with zero okay then there will be two more that is zero comma one and zero comma one because we are just exchanging we can exchange the positions as well and that will also be a valid pair so it will be four so in this way you will you can find out that count of one sets count of zero sets and multiply it by two okay and if we will multiply if we will find out this if we will do this for all 31 bits i think we will get our answer if we will keep on storing the answers like adding the answers okay all right so that was it let's jump on to the code section and write the code for it and i think that will become crystal clear to you okay all right let's jump on to the code section then okay all right let's write the code for it and you will be amazed to see that how it can be so much easy the code can be so much easy okay so first of all i will simply do long answer equal to zero okay and after that uh, we have to return answer in say long and after that i will start the loop as i told there will be 31 so i will start from i equal to 31 i will leave it till zero greater than equal to zero i minus minus in this way you can also uh, iterate it in reverse order as well and after that we will be having two um, things first one will let's say count of uh, zero and another one will be count one something like this okay now i will iterate on each array I and take out from this ARR. Now here, what I could do? How can I find if a ith bit is set? If ith bit is set or not? So if ith bit, let's say second bit, if second bit is set. How can I find? I will simply do I. Sorry, one right shift by I. It means I have reached. So if I will do, if I will be two here, it means one zero zero. Okay, this means this. And after that, I have to check for uh, let's say uh, five. So five binary is watch one zero one. So if I will do this and I will get something which is not equal to zero. I will get something which is not equal to zero. So in that case, uh, let me write it as well. So if one write push by i, okay, and I will do its j and and operator with j and 
something like this okay and if it is greater than zero if it is greater than zero it means that bit is set okay i think i've messed it up something like this in this way you have to use you have to use uh, let's say uh, wrap these in brackets so that uh, the precedence doesn't do a issue okay so if it is one uh, if it is this so it means the bit is set so i will do count plus plus else i will do uh, count of zero plus plus okay and after that we just have to as i told we will be doing something like answer plus equal to two into two into what two into count of zero and multiply by it count by one so basically i'm doing it multiply by two because we are taking it something like uh, one comma two is a different pair and two comma one is a different pair okay that's why we have to multiply it by two otherwise it will be same either way we can only do count uh, zero in count one and i'm and i'm expecting everyone is getting this so please let me know if you are not able to understand this because i think it should be clear now so answer something like this so what i'm saying is let's say once again let me explain so this set bit and all look if i will do something like one two and and i want to check if the second bit is set in this three or not okay so it will be something like one zero zero and three is what three is zero one one okay so in that case i will get zero why because i will only get non-zero when this bit this bit i bit which i'm checking here is uh, set if it is not set if any other bit is set it doesn't matter i will get zero and if it is not zero if i'm not getting zero it means this bit is set in the given number that is three or whatever i'm searching for okay so something like this if you will search for four you i will say so in that case i will get one zero zero if you will search for six as well so i will get one one zero now in that case also i will not get zero i will get something like uh, one zero zero only okay so that doesn't matter i will only check for zero so if it is greater than zero it means that bit is set so i will do count one plus plus otherwise i will do count zero plus plus i have missed semicolon here and i think now it's correct and one thing is i should it should be having j not i now i think let's submit it i think it should get accepted now let's check this out all right it's running let's try to submit it meanwhile if you have loved the solution please don't forget to subscribe the channel and i promise we will be active here okay i will be posting videos every day so please subscribe the channel share your feedback and i'm going to see you again tomorrow okay till then keep on coding subscribe the channel and bye